Hello. I have my partners in crime. Um, welcome to a new vlog. I haven't done this in a while, but, oh, no. So today we are in Paso Robles. Paso Robles? Paso Robles? I'm not exactly sure how to say it. But we're, we are here for a wedding. Someone is not very happy about being in the car. She gets very anxious. Um, but we're on our way to get breakfast right now, and then the wedding is a daytime wedding. I've never been to a daytime wedding before, but we're gonna get ready for that. And I just thought I would vlog because I haven't vlogged in a while, and we're doing something fun, so I thought I'd take you with us. do like rollers and my bangs. I'm sure you've seen it before if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but I forgot them. So I'm gonna try to curl them and then just bobby pin them in place while I do the rest of my stuff. But um, that place was good. They had like a whole plant-based menu I didn't even realize. I just saw acai bowl and I was like perfect. And then they ended up having like avocado toast, Jesse got a tempeh wrap. So definitely recommend if you're a vegan and in Paso. But we usually try to eat a lot before our weddings, but this one I'm not too worried about because the bride is, I think she's vegetarian or vegan. So we had the option of selecting a vegan option, which was amazing. I've never sent in a wedding invite where I could select vegan. <laughs> That's my option. I have to try to do like a pin curl like they used to do in the olden days. <laughs> this matcha from there. So good. It has cinnamon and I think agave. Mm. My little peanut, where are you? What do you do? We are checking out of the hotel and there is a vegan cheese shop in Paso Robles, Robles, whatever, um, that I am dying to try. They have like all different types of vegan cheeses and they have sandwiches with vegan meats and bagels with cream cheese and all sorts of fun things. So we're gonna check that out on the way home and I am really excited about it. I'm gonna be bringing home a lot of cheese. Get ready. As we are leaving, we see this little friend. Hi bud. Hello, you are so cute. And there's another one over there eating. He's eating their breakfast. Mm. That salami is good. 
I like whatever they put on the, the spread. Um, maple mustard. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Spicy and sweet and tangy. Oh my god. What is that? That's there? the seafood bagel. Look at this. I've never seen anything that looks so much like fish. It's crazy. Okay, we have to try this. This is this is insane. Oh my god. That is like the closest thing to salmon I've ever had since going vegan. I'm gonna try a little pokey. Mmm. Texture is spot on. It's good, you'll like it. You like pokey. The cream cheese is really good. Mm hmm All right, we are home. I'm so tired. Daylight savings has messed me up. I woke up so early this morning and then couldn't fall back asleep. So my friend Grace is coming over in a few hours and we are going to record our self tapes for acting class. So I'm basically gonna spend the day just working on that script. And I also got a new shower curtain and like towels and stuff for my bathroom. So I was gonna set that up. So I'll show you guys what I got because I just felt like I needed a change of pace. I like the vibe that's in there currently. It's very like hotel-esque, but I just feel like, I just feel like I need to spice things up. We've been here for like four years now and the bathroom has been the same those four years and I just feel like I need to change things up. And I wanted something that was a little more like moody for fall. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, so this is the current bathroom sitch. Just have some like gray and white towels, usually that Basket is filled with clean towels, but we need to do laundry and then this is The shower curtain. It's very like simple hotel vibes just a gray stripe around The bottom and yeah, it's just very clean and bright and it matches the bathroom really well But I just wanted something a little more fun and moody if I owned this place. I would do wallpaper right here so I'm trying to like bring in wallpaper vibes, so I'll show you what I have. So this is the shower curtain that I got. And I think it's really pretty. It's just like these moody flowers and it looks like it just goes really well with the gray and the pink tile. And I got it from Society6. I got these shower rings because the other ones I had, okay, I'll tell you, there's a few reasons for why I got these. So the other ones I had rusted really quickly. These are supposed to be rust free. We'll see. But they have these little, here, I'll just take one out so you can see. I look tired. So they have like these little balls. So it's supposed to roll a lot easier on the curtain rod and then there's two little hooks. So one is for the liner and then one is for the decorative shower curtain. And I feel like this is gonna be really nice so that I can wash the liner and the decorative shower curtain separately and not have to take both of them off because that is just such a nightmare. I got a fabric curtain liner. This may be, this may not work, I don't know. Because the liner I got was heavy because it needed to because the pressure, the pressure from the water was like making it wave in the wind a little bit too much, but it got mildewy after like a couple of months. So I just, I don't want to be wasteful, at least with a fabric one, I can th throw it in the washer. So hopefully we'll see. I think it has like little magnets on the corner. So we'll see how that works. For decorative towels, I got these off of Etsy. I think they're so pretty and I think they match really well with the shower curtain. They've got this nice little frayed edge and they're like a faded charcoal so i got two big sizes of those and then two hand towels as well okay we are getting there so hung up these i don't know if that's how i'm gonna display them but they're there and the little hand towel and this is what the new shower curtain looks like it's so pretty i feel like it goes so well with the tile like it literally could not be a more perfect match and I just feel like it really adds some elegance to the space and it just makes it a little more exciting than like 
I don't know, just your standard bathroom. So I'm really happy with it. And then I ordered a black rug that's gonna go right here. It's actually a round rug. So hopefully that looks good. I don't know, we'll see. But that should be here hopefully next week. And yeah, yay. Good morning. I totally forgot to finish vlogging last night, but um, it was so good to see my friend Grace and we just caught up on life. I haven't seen her since my wedding, so I was so excited to see her and just like catch up on what she's been doing. And um, we filmed our audition and I woke up this morning, answered a ton of emails. I mean, the emails are never ending. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. Um, and now I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm hungry. I had a little bit of that leftover cheese because how could I not? But I'm gonna show you guys my matcha recipe because I haven't posted it in a while and it's different. So let's go. So I've still been doing daily harvest here and there, especially for like breakfast foods. I find that for me, I really have a hard time eating breakfast and like if I have to make it, I probably won't. So it just makes it so much easier um, if it's already prepared and all I have to do is add milk or water and then microwave it or blend it. So the smoothies and the oatmeals for me are like the best. Jesse had his first daily harvest oatmeal today. Actually, I haven't been sharing because I'm selfish. What did you think? I liked it. You liked it? What would you give it out of 10? I mean, I'll give it an 8 for an oatmeal. An 8 for an oatmeal? <laughs> I think it's so good. This is the cherry chocolate one and it tastes like, I don't know, like a, like a cherry chocolate bar. It's so, so good. Um, some of them I don't like as much, so I feel like you just have to find what flavors you like best. But yeah, I'm just going to eat this and get back to work. Vlog. Do we look pretty? Tell us. Not yet. <laughs> We're Do you want to say hi to the vlog? <gasps> hi. <laughs> Brittany, say hi. Say hi to the vlog, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost set. These are the boys behind the vegan view. <laughs> Two more back here. Hello. <laughs> It takes, it takes a village. It takes a village. She's vlogging. <laughs> Go follow Melina. Go watch her vlog. <laughs> I'll make sure she does. This is, this is Melina's foster dog. Alright, Zoe. I ordered lunch from Vegged, mm -hmm. even though I had it for breakfast. But what did you get for breakfast or for for this? Yeah. Oh, that looks this so is like the good. cauliflower kung pao bowl mm -hmm. with tofu. It's That's good. Amazing. It looks good. Mhm. Mm Very good. How many down? Four to down? Three to down? Yeah. Three down. Yeah. Five to go. All right. Now we're doing a chicken taste test, vegan chicken taste test part two. You guys, there's so much vegan chicken out there. I've already done one. This is part two, and we can even do a part three. And we will. And we will. Stay tuned. But look at this. All right, last video. Last video! Last video! Woo! Can I get an amen over here from the Soy Boys? <laughs> 
the dude. We even gave them free they chicken went, nuggets. We gave them our nugget scraps and they're acting what, like this. This is what they This is what is so nice of us. Yeah, oh there's my, plenty on there. There's plenty. You don't need more than that. Be grateful. <laughs> you know. It is 10, 12 p.m. and everybody's gone and Jesse and I are just packing up and we have to wait for the footage to export so that takes probably an hour. So this is the glamorous life of me just sitting around a cold studio. We filmed all day. This Today was definitely like probably one of the more heavy filming days we've done, but we just wanted to make sure we got enough episodes so that going into the holidays, we wouldn't have to be worried about getting together to film. It's just so tricky this time of year to get everyone's schedules aligned. It's already hard and then you add the holidays in the mix. So now we have at least enough content to get us through till the end of the year. So, so tired, such a long day, but the guests we had, I didn't film any of the guests that we had, but we had some incredible guests that I cannot wait for you guys to see. So make sure you're following the vegan view if you're not, so you can see. And um, yeah. Good morning guys, it's Monday. Um, I actually have a latte, which is very out of character for me. I have not been drinking coffee for like, gosh, I wanna say it's been like at least five months now, but I could be exaggerating. That's what it feels like. Um, but I pretty much exclusively drink matcha and tea now but I did not sleep well last night. I was up late editing the vegan view and then I had to wake up early. I need the facilitated caffeine today. It's just, it's just necessary. But it's only two shots of espresso, so it shouldn't be that bad. I have a lot of like admin things to do today, just like answering emails. Um, I am gonna try to film if I have time and then I have a few partnerships that I need to work on so exciting stuff um not exciting stuff is that our fridge and freezer broke the night before last and i'm very frustrated by it because i told our landlord about it multiple times so i just feel really like frustrated and a lack of control over the situation because i kind of knew this could happen and i said everything that i could to try to stop it from happening but they didn't seem to care and then Yesterday was a Sunday, so it was broken all day and we were just emailing and didn't hear anything from them. So I had to follow up this morning and sounds like they're going to try to get us a new refrigerator, but they're not in any rush. So unfortunately, I think we're going to end up having to donate and throw away hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of food, which is just heartbreaking and I just feel really wasteful like that's something that I care a lot about it's like food waste the fact that people in this world are hungry like what like the fact that people in this country are hungry we're the richest we're one of the richest countries if not the richest and people are hungry and that's just so sad so I'm feeling a lot even though I know it's not my fault I'm feeling a lot of guilt and anxiety over it I'm trying to distract myself because otherwise I'll obsess over it. <laughs> um, but hopefully we will be getting a new fridge very soon. So one of the brand deals I'm working on is with a psychic website. And I'm so excited because I've never had a psychic reading before, um, but they do it over the phone, which I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable with. So I'm gonna uh, look at that and probably do my call my psychic call today I'm so excited and kind of nervous because I don't know if I'm ready to hear this if you like get on the phone with them and they don't seem like a good fit you can end the call and then call someone else which I, I feel good about that okay I just did my psychic reading and she made me cry <laughs> um yeah I'm I'm like a, a I know I don't really know if I believe in psychics so much as I believe in like intuition and people just having like good intuition about people and their lives um so I feel like the things that she told me were kind of things I already knew and she did say that I'm highly intuitive which I already know and so it was more like 
her guiding me to trust my own intuition. Um, but she did mention something. <laughs> but she did mention something else, like pretty personal, that got me a little choked up. So um, yeah, it was interesting. I think I would definitely do it again. The thing I like about it is that it's really cheap. It's only a dollar ninety nine per minute. I never commit to actually posting for a brand until I've tried out the product. So I now have tried this and I think it's a really cool thing that a lot of people will probably enjoy. So yeah, I'm excited to share on my social media now. So we ordered Indian food for dinner because our fridge isn't working. <laughs> so we have to, so we have to order food. Um, but it's a good excuse to eat something cozy and delicious. This is what we get all the time. This isn't like anything new, but we get the vegan vegetable korma, rice, and samosa. Where did I find it? Ooh, Adele one night only. Here. We're watching the boys. It's our, it's our favorite. We're old people. Jago number one, Jago number two. So one is mushroom gravy on the right and one is uh, uh, Jago is number three and four. The big dogs have to be outside. It's not fair. Jago number five. Hello, good boy. Winning. Raiders are winning which means all is well in the Westlow household. No one breathes. It's really close. It, it's Shut up. But we can He's, still talk. You, you can talk, but don't breathe. You don't breathe. Jesse, it's talk, too far. Breathe. No, you're too deep. Trust me, it's... That's going. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you gotta go, go elsewhere. It's pretty tight. It's too, it's too, 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 too high up. Ooh! I did it! <laughs> Actually, that's the one, I think. This is the one. Come back to me. You're right, I don't. I don't want it to come it's back. Like so, it's like, like so not deep. Oh. Oh, wow. Geez. No, this is going to It's shifting. Ah! <laughs> All right, I knew it. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Oh. Oh. Where is he? Hi, bud! Good job! 
Good job, bud. Oh my God, look at Zoe, oh my God. 